Hi everyone, it's Lucy and today's video is all about OPI sheer tints. They are very versatile but they are also tricky to work with as you will see. In this video I will show you first 5 designs that you can recreate with OPI sheer tints. I will be using all 4 colors, base coat, OPI Alpine Snow White Nail Polish, Dotting Tool and Nail Art Brushes. Paint your nails with base coat. I'm using OPI Natural Nail Base Coat. Then paint your nails with two coats of Alpine Snow White Nail Polish. First design I'll be doing is this rainbow plate. You can choose how thick or thin your lines will be and what colors you use, so this design is very versatile. Using your nail art brush, paint horizontal lines all the way across the nail. Keep changing the color and the thickness of the lines. Do the same thing, but paint the lines vertically, meaning from cuticle to the tip. Next design we're gonna do is rainbow bubbles. The beauty of this design is in overlapping spaces of the bubbles. Start with painting larger circles and half circles. You want to overlap as many as you can because the color will change and mix together nicely. But you want the color to dry properly, so move on to next color. Fill most of the white space with colored bubbles. Once the earlier painted bubbles dry, you can start painting over them and overlap the bubbles to create different shades. Mix different sizes of the bubbles to add extra dimension. So this design is done, let's move on to the next one. Now I'll show you how to paint these playful triangles. I find it easier to start painting from the inside. Start with a short small line and then add another one a little bit larger in about 45 degrees angle. Repeat the same with few more lines until you're happy with the size of your triangle. Repeat the same with other colors. The next design is what I call double rainbow and it beautifully shows the blend of the colors. Start by painting a half moon with yellow shade.
Then paint blue stripe that will partly overlap the yellow, creating a green shade. Make sure the color stripes are wide enough so you can see all the colors when you overlap. Next use your pink shade and repeat exactly the same process. That's it, beautifully colorful, isn't it? Last design is a funky doticure that reminds me of mandala patterns. Basically start with a large dot in the middle and then paint more dots around it in the circle and exchange colors and sizes of the dots. Continue like this until you fill the whole nail. And last nail is done. Now top coat all the nails to seal the designs. So that's all designs done. You can mix and match them or you can do a whole hand with just one design. As I said in the beginning, the sheer tins are a bit tricky to work with. So you have to work fast because they will get thick and they will create strings that will go all over your nails. Good luck and don't forget to share your designs with me with hashtag Lucy Stash and subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for part 2 with 5 more designs. Bye!